welcome to 56. So apologies for not posting anything last week, but it poured down with rain all weekend and it was cold. We didn't ride, we didn't really do so much uh, because of the weather. So um, let me give you a little medical hit update first. I've been taking radiation, my radiation therapy. Uh, I just finished the second week of it and it's a 28 day course and I just go weekdays after work. So my completion date is gonna be April the 4th. So today is, what is it, the 9th? I think it's the 9th today, Saturday the 9th. Um, but I might be wrong. <clears throat> so it's not a big deal. All I do is I go, I go there, they get me in. I'm usually in and out within 20 minutes, half an hour. So, uh, so that's a good thing. Today's ride, uh, Joey's uh, tapping this one out, I think. She said she'd see how she feels in the morning. I got a good morning from her, but I figured she's gone back to bed. So I'm just gonna head out. I'm gonna go to Anza Borrego. Anza Borrego, which is up uh, up in the desert, uh, sort of uh, north of San Diego type way. Um, remember a couple of weeks ago, I did that trip to uh, Temecula when we saw that Ricardo Breseda, where he had his um, steel sculptures and everything. Well, he's got a few more of them out there in Anza Borrego. So I figured I'd go and take a look at them. Um, it's a, it's gonna be a fairly long trip, so it's probably just as well I'm going on my own. Um, and I'm trying to think of what else. That's it, really. Anything else, I'll catch up with you on the road. So until then, I'll see you in the garage. We come from Garrett Land. Okay, good morning guys. So we're in the garage and you can tell by my hat, it's a little bit chilly, but it always, it'll always warm up. So it's about 50 right now. And I think in about another hour, it's gonna go up to 55, but I'll be on the road and long gone by then. So um, as mentioned, heading out to Anza Borrego and uh, we'll see you on the road. So I took a little stop on uh, the 79 just to stretch my legs, get uh, get a little bit of water, that kind of thing. And look at this, there is traffic. So I'm not sure if there's been an accident or what have you, but I'm hoping that it'll clear up.
Which is the final stretch of the road back to uh, up to Anza Borrego Springs. Now, I got a feeling that I went this way when I did the Sunrise Highway. I'm not sure. I don't know if that looks familiar to me or not. Anyway, it's hard to say. So I just want to say how great it is to actually get out. I've been kind of not in a bad place in my head, but I think the hormone pills that I've taken are just sort of mess with my head a little bit so it's uh, it's good to get out you know just clear your head not think or worry about anything anyway i'm getting hungry i know that there's a burger place up there that looks pretty good and you know how i am about my burgers gotta have one all right so i'll see you next time when the angels come up. off along the way i'm nearly there and i just wanted to uh, i wanted to kind of share this with you the view is absolutely amazing can you see that Whew. it's absolutely breathtaking and it uh, it goes on forever Oh uh -huh. 
I made it to the restaurant. I wasn't sure whether I was going to watch the sculptures first or get something to eat, but I thought, ah, i just get something to eat. So I'm at a place called Big Horn Burgers and things. So it looked pretty good. It got good reviews. So uh, let's go and have a look. Broke my heart and now I'm making for you. Had a very nice chat with the gal that works in the store here, I Kendra, and uh, I'm just going to show you around her shop. Oh, you, she wants to be on. <laughs> so here she is, very helpful. Now she's and now you're seasonal, I Kendra. Is that yes. right? Oh, I Kedra. But yes, I Kedra. Is what we're open October through May. Oh, perfect. And what is the name of this place called? Palm Canyon Hotel and RV Resort, and we're in the. And the Borrego State Park area in Borrego Springs. Very nice. So don't forget to say hi when you're down here. Thank you. All the way it should be. There once was a time that you here by my side. You said I wasn't your kind. So, uh, <clears throat> so that was my experience there. The place and staff was very good. The food, not so good. It was. Uh, extremely salty small wouldn't recommend the food but uh, the place was nice So I've made it to the first location and uh, it's it's weird because it, you, you just sort of come across it and there's like a like a couple here. So it's the first one, it looks like a like a camel and a baby camel feeding. So as you can see, these sculptures, they're like out in the middle of nowhere. Thought she was hungry
So it really is quite impressive. Um, these two sculptures, one's a grasshopper and the other's a scorpion, but they're huge. They're like there's, there's some people next to it and you can see how big they are. So he must have assembled them out here. So he probably brought all the raw materials, his tools, welding equipment just out here to build them because I don't think he'd have bought them on a truck. It, they're just too big. From the ride and uh, the last leg I've got to admit was a little bit grueling. I think uh, the radiation treatment is taking a bit more of a toll on my body than I thought it was. So um, even though I made it home all safe and sound, I got cramps, like muscle cramps on the way back and uh, I just had a bit of a bit of a nightmare when I got back Saturday night with the cramps and uh, I was sick a little bit. So uh, I'm just going to be taking it easy. That was a long ride. I think I did about 
350, 400 miles in that day. But uh, I think it's just a, uh, just telling my body I need a I need to calm down a little bit. Um, the radiation is going to be done when is it April the fourth? So I'm not sure. I, I'm definitely not going to be riding like that then uh, until then. But uh, may do a few little local runs. So my posts on the on YouTube are going to be a little bit limited, unfortunately. But if I do do something, I will let you know. So thank you so much for coming along with the ride with us. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course ring that bell. And uh, I will be in touch with you all very very soon. Thank you. God bless.